FNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrial trading down 265. Nasdaq's off 173. S&Ps are off 41. Gold. Gold contract down $3.10, trading at 1945 an ounce. Yet silver down 18 cents, $24.53 an ounce. Light sweet crude flat at $79, 9 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. 10-year note down 10 ticks, trading 109.19. The 30-year off 13 at 1. 1926 and King Dollar. King Dollar is up 564 ticks, trading at 103.983. The euro is at 108. The yen is trading at 145, and the British pound is at 126 to 1 US dollar. <coughs> Talk about a market, folks. Okay, so let's take a look at it. So, what you have here, this is going to get really intriguing coming into tomorrow because I suspect we're going to about bounce. That's, that's how this thing's looking. And this is why. So, you take a look at the spy. What we did is this you got to a higher high out here today. That being said, and you're going to have a slightly higher volume, but what you're actually doing is that you're coming into the two last lows. And they're coming in with a lot lighter volume. 57 million is coming into 95 million as well as uh, 98 million. That's what this is doing. So you're going to need a lot, more a lot more volume to break down at this area. There's no doubt we've been straight down all day long. If you take a look at the S&Ps, you know, bottom line, it's been a one-way trip all the way down all day long. No doubt about that. We take a look at them. What you're going to see intraday here is that you still, well, we'll see whether that thing gets uh, hit again, meaning the 4401. You go into the Qs, the Qs, the Qs are a little bit different. Now, the, the SPY is set up like that. The Qs are going to have just about as much volume as they had in the way down. You know, we, right now we're at 51, 51 million, and what you have here, you're going into 62 and you're going into 63. Gold, gold wants higher price in a big way, and particularly because you can see the dollar's up over 500 ticks, and gold has pulled back with tremendously lighter volume once again. 129,000 contracts, that's nothing. But I want to get right over to the dollar because the dollar is running everything. And so what you're going to see in the dollar out here is this. We talked about the dollar yesterday. The dollar made the spike yesterday, made an inverted doji, Okay. Now we do have an last engulfing. A last engulfing is you start at the lows, you go, you finish at the highs. We'll see how this shakes out tomorrow. But with two of these, these both, well, yesterday was definitely bearish. Today would be bearish if, in fact, you get a lower price tomorrow. That's how they're set up. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.